Look, I, I'm going to say some pretty critical and harsh things here, and I do not mean any disrespect. How stupid, and who else can I blame for that? I'm sorry these are harsh words, but can Canadians have to deal with the truth now. Joining me now to talk about this is Kevin O'Leary, Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary. Kevin, welcome back. Great to be here, thank it you. It just seems every time you come into the studio, Trudeau is uh, making some news headlines. You know, Justin, and I think most Canadians feel this way, is the gift that just keeps on giving. Well, I've always said about Trudeau that he is the gift that just keeps on giving. He has brought together probably the weakest team around him I've ever seen in Canadian politics. He's a horrific manager, terrible manager. It's Justin Trudeau. He is a weak manager, a terrible strategist. We as Canadians must help him find something he can do well. It's not managing D team in finance, C team in foreign relations, just people with no experience doing any of this stuff. We've got to be honest with each other. He's not good at this. Let's find him the right job somewhere, not managing the country. Okay. I want to help. I want, I want to personally help Justin find a job. Where, what do you think he'd be good at? I have no idea, but, <laughs> but I'm sure he'll to... find his way. He's tried running Canada, that hasn't worked. If you ask yourself, is the country better off today than it was the first day Justin Trudeau took over? Look at what we've got now. A completely divided country. I've never seen a situation where two provinces want to separate. Alberta wants to leave, <laughs> right. and Quebec. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> There's no leadership skills there. How Trump played Trudeau like a puppet and Freeland like a puppet. They had no idea what they were doing. Canada is nowhere, nowhere. Per capita, it's one of the richest countries on earth, run by complete idiots. I'm just saying categorically, the worst management <laughs> everywhere, and it's got to change. He has to step down. He should do it on his own, but the, the electoral system will do it for him. Run. The by worst idiots. manager. And just in case you didn't get it, he is the worst, worst. manager Canada's <laughs> ever had. Maybe Trudeau should be focusing on what's happening around the world, outside of his little unique political sphere. You might as well tell the truth. It's so important that Justin Trudeau be thanked for his service and then removed from office. He is the worst manager Canada has ever had. Total incompetency underneath him in the cabinet seats. Total incompetency in almost every mandate. Absolutely the worst I've ever seen. The very, very, very worst. And I think the Canadian people are starting to see how horrific this management team is. And it's very important. This is a totally incompetent government from the top down. The worst managers in the country's history. There's nothing going to happen in Canada till Trudeau's gone. You cannot get anything done in Canada. They are the worst managers on earth. They are crippling the Canadian economy with mismanagement. Look at any, any measure you have during Trudeau's tenure. It just gets worse every single year. It's so important that he be swapped out. It's just the most important thing Canadians can do. They could vote for anybody else and do better. Anybody yeah. else. Trump changed everything for him in a way he had no skill set to deal with. He's so underqualified to do that. Freeland, a disaster. Unmitigated disaster. I've gone through this with you before. Right. It's only gotten worse. I blame Freeland and Trudeau's not, he's just very inept at managing. He's a bad manager. He's a bad fiduciary. He doesn't have any skill sets. He's never experienced what it's like to manage such a complex thing as the Canadian economy. It's very expensive for me as a Canadian citizen to have such incompetency in so many mandates throughout the cabinet. It's because when he constructed it originally, he wanted diversity, not competency. What actually has he? That's incompetency. It's a skill set he doesn't have. Unmitigated disaster. The, the cabinet is the definition of mediocrity and lack of executional skills. Everywhere he goes with Freeland, they're a disaster. Can't we do better than this? 
Anything would be better. Oh, yeah. I just want competency. I just want competency. I want someone that's a good manager that can actually execute on any mandate. No fiduciary skills, no management skills, no track records in delivering anything. We have to start figuring out how do we bring competent people into the political process. We desperately need change. Now, if you're, we're not staying in, in this this horrible situation of mediocrity and competency. Well, I say these words with no disrespect. It's no managed by executional idiots. skills. Trudeau oh, is so the worst to Canada Prime Minister that he ever on. put in power. And I, don't, I mean no disrespect, but incredibly weak manager. Oh, it's much worse than that. Um, okay. I wouldn't let him manage a candy store. Richest country on earth run by idiots. A very weak skill sets in management there, and that's the premise by which you want. He has zero executional skills. He is a horrible manager. He perhaps is the worst manager Canada's ever been under. The absolute worst. It can't get worse. Absolutely a negative 10. I'm sorry. I want Trudeau gone. He is, in my you know, view, not a good manager. That's what I've always had a problem with because he doesn't have the experience of being either a diplomat or a manager of anything. He couldn't get anything done when he was a majority. He'll definitely get nothing done in the next 18 months. And I'm quite skeptical. Let me tell you what I think is going to happen. He's going to keep his mandate until October of 2021 for one singular reason. That's when all of his cabinet get pensions. They get a free ride for the rest of their lives on the back of Canadian taxpayers. It's like herding cats, but they have an economic reason to stay. It's not for the benefit of Canadians, it's for the benefit of themselves. They get pensions. It's a despicable system. It should be changed, but the fact that they would stay and back this, this weakened Prime Minister uh, just for another 18 months to get a pension sickens me. They can't wait to get rid of her and Trudeau. The country is so divided, I've never seen anything like it. It's brutal. We need to take a spatula to Ottawa and scrape Trudeau and all of them out of there and start new. He, in my view, is the worst manager Canada has ever had. The worst. The absolute worst. There is no one as bad as he's been. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. He's just a terrible manager. He's completely unqualified to be the CEO of Canada, which is what the Prime Minister is. It's so important that he is gone. It's very important that he is gone. Very, very important for Canadians.